of Central Bank should be lending money to startups, artisans, and those who are doing uh, medium and small scale enterprises. Let's look at how Akil Miyamoto is pushing that agenda with the uh, other governors who are present and, of course, to the Central Bank of Nigeria. There are too many competing systems and regulations in this country. Why we generally don't like monopolies? The reality is that the system is much more valuable if everyone uses it. And that's what MPESA has managed to achieve elsewhere on the continent. So it's not a big deal. But something must be wrong somewhere in allowing us to create a convergence so that we'll be able to use this mobile money, which is the easiest way to our financial inclusion strategy that we think should really work for this country. So why all of you are very focused on how the digital revolution is affecting financial services, I want to challenge you today to go faster. We need the CBN and NIDC to work together with the banks and other players in the system to decide together what type of financial system will really impact unemployment and bring more people into the former financial system. This is where we should really focus as a nation, not the kind of uh, directives or, or, or decisions that actually try to stifle growth and commerce. So one clear example is this. I, as a state government, I want to take a commercial loan from the bank. They tell me, as you go and get a letter from DMO, as you go and get approval from Federal Ministry of Finance, I should go to CBN. Who does that? <laughs> and you want to accelerate growth. So everything that I'm doing, even when I take a loan from the bank, even when I do bond, I'm only trying to reflect the economy. Each construction site that you see in Lagos, I'm trying to create employment at the lower level. So that the artisan, so that the bricklayer can go on with 5,000. I don't need to do something in Badagri, but I need to employ people there so that they stay in Badagri, they don't come to central Lagos. So when you take the extra money outside the IGR, you are actually trying to help the economy to reflate itself. And that's why you are able to excite yourself with the growth that you have seen in the tech quarter, you say it's 1.5. But that's not the number that we want. So sometimes government seems to shoot itself in the leg. So why should Lagos State go and be meeting DMO? I want to take a commercial loan when 80% of my IGR can pay the, the loan itself back. So you see that there is some sense of homogeneity in the policies that we make, but sometimes they're not really flexible. And you end up, we come back and say, we want to create jobs. But the things that create jobs are the things that we're actually working against. And you create unnecessary competition in the system. This type of system does not happen by accident. It, it takes active intervention by all of you in this room, guided by a few of what the ultimate design and regulations need to be to give us a well-functioning, low-cost financial system that will work for all Nigerians. That's my challenge to you today. As you begin your deliberations, I would like you to be bold in your thinking and ready to translate the ideas that come out of these sessions into policies and actions that will ensure inclusive growth for Nigeria and positively impact our people. Just before I conclude, I, I, I actually wanted to give a suggestion or a response to what the CBN governor said in his remarks. You know, it was, uh, it was sounding bitter that there's so much fund, the MSME fund, over 200 billion, and it's yet to be utilized by our banks. So this MSME fund given by CBN is at 9%. So I, as a government, I decided to create employment trust fund. I've released 10 billion at 5%. I was thinking I'm even going to sit here as a banker here because of my 5%. <laughs> so I'm saying that if you want to activate a particular sector of which the generality of Nigerians are in, you have to shut your eyes to profit making sometimes. It's a sector driven strategy. So the people in the MSME, we've helped over 6,000 people. So what's the big deal? 
if we release that, so if CPS says they are interventionists and you want money to be given just the same way you are doing for a Greek loan, why are you specializing in a Greek loan and putting it at 9%? It's because you want to touch that particular sector. So the people at the lower level, if you want to touch them, there has to be something different about them. Don't forget also, it's not a commercial loan. It's money from CBN to the banks who are just intermediaries to give it to the poor people. So if you give me, I will give them at 5%. Is it every time that the banks must make profit? Eh? You go and make profit in the, in the oil and gas. Go and do those ones. Why are you disturbing us in the lower level? Eh? So, you know, CBN governor, I'll come for, and apply for extra funds. I don't know you have money there. <laughs> so as a government, I pledge our full support in providing an enabling environment for the banking industry to thrive. I will continue working actively towards the ease of doing and transacting business in Lagos. Okay, uh, let me add a few of my own smiles to that of Akumi Abote, the governor of Lagos State. Of course, you, you hear that, that he wants, uh, why should the central bank uh, charge 9% uh, on his own uh, credit, while the state government is uh, charging 5%. So you've got to be a, a bit of a balancing uh, there on how to trade off. Uh, and he says, a bank should make money in oil and gas uh, and leave those who are at the bottom of the pyramid for the artisans and startups to get uh, loans at 5%. That's the discussion. Uh, for those of you who are watching the global marketplace, Bitcoin futures has uh, now been trading on the CBOA Global Market Incorporated. We started the show about an hour and 48 minutes ago uh, when the futures, the XBT, F8 had a total contract of 2,600 plus. Now that has moved to 2,708. So investors are piling a lot of uh, activities into the XBT F8 and a little lot more or less contracts into XBT G8 and XBT uh, H8. That's about all. You want to go online, check out the rest of the Bitcoin futures journey that started yesterday, December the 10th. Let's come back up to the break. <laughs>